pregame.com. Bears plus six at lines, Monday Night Football. Marco, who do you like and why? I'm going to look at the under in this game, and we're going to look at Detroit. They've made two major comebacks the last two weeks, and I think that's why I'm going with the under, because people are going to look at the last two weeks, they're going to look at the big comebacks, look at the high-scoring games, and automatically this is a Monday night game. You know how the public likes to bet the overs. I think the value's in the unders, and with Detroit at home on a Monday night, I don't expect them to be way behind like they were the last two weeks, which will slow the offense down because they don't have to be in catch-up mode. And I think that's what's going to get us the under. Make an interesting point is when you have a small sample size, which we're only four games into the season, and you have a team that can throw who's behind, you're going to run a lot more plays typically, especially if they can stop the other team from running the ball, which in the case of the Cowboys, they weren't able to run them. They didn't try or weren't able to or whatever. So you really do get a situation where the scoring is unnaturally inflated because you've got a competent passing team. Now, if you get a horrible passing team that gets behind, it actually tends to depress the score because they can't pass right. and they're trying. So I, I tend to agree with you right off the go. How do you think this Monday night game, I mean, Detroit's been talking about, I think it's been three years they've been talking about this. They've been so excited. They haven't had a Monday night home game since 2001. Now, you would think that the crowd noise would have even more of an effect hurting the Bears on offense. Yeah, they're going to have, in, the Bears, they've got, you know, we talked about the Steeler offensive line in the last video. These two guys could commiserate with each other because the Bears offensive line is horrible. So a bad offensive line, not hearing the snap count good, you know, not getting off the ball sharp, that's going to create some more problems for a poor offensive line. I got to tell you, I think this one's crystal clear. The only question I have is do you wait until game day or do you, we're taping here on Wednesday or do you get down early? Well, surprisingly, RJ, this line opened at six. There's still sixes out I'm there. I'm talking about the under now. Or oh, the under? No, you wait till game day. All right, so in, in, in the theory behind these line projections that we do is that you can't be 100% right, but if you only get 60% right, you're going to get a better line 60 times and a worse line 40 times, which is what you want. And the reason being that this is a Monday night game, it's a public game, nobody's going to want the under with Plus Detroit. Plus, these, these standalone primetime games have been going over in general. I think you wait right before game time. Absolutely. Any closing thoughts? Uh, not for me. Opinion on the under. I, I think, no, is this your opinion? Oh, this is your opinion. This, well, this, yeah, this is my... Now, you're going to have your best bet in college, your video best bet and everything tomorrow you take. Yes. Who are you taping with? We're taping with Stephen Nover uh, tomorrow, and we actually have a video we're going to be doing with uh, Brian Leonard tomorrow also. Awesome. All right, guys, we're, we got a ton of videos. Well, actually, this is Monday, so I guess is if you're watching this last, you missed a lot of good videos. But remember, we've got up, upwards of a dozen-plus videos every week at pregame.tv. Talk to you next week.